right what's up you guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be doing something a little bit different i don't know why i do videos in the middle of the day like it's not hot as hell out here still got my handy dandy towel you know so i won't look so drenched in front of you guys we are going to be adding a key start uh switch to the john boat uh the motor the predator 212 we're going to give it a shot so i'm going to show you guys what we're going to be using today and we'll go from there this is the frame the new frame i should say um that we're going to be putting on there um this is the uh key box i used to call it key box got all the wiring which i have no idea how the hell is going to go on i i know but i don't know so we'll figure that out as we go um this is the new flywheel as you can see it's heavy as hell and there's a starter solenoid, all right? So this is the key right here to making everything work. Um, and this is this new flywheel, key box, and you got the tools, you got the keys in there, and you got some screws and all that kind of stuff, which I'm gonna figure out how to do all that later. So I think that is all you're gonna need to add um, to make this work. All right, you guys, here is my Predator 212. Now, if you guys uh, were watching my channel for a while, you will know I bought this motor and the kit at the same time, uh, probably about a year ago, okay? So it was brand new a year ago. So now it's all beat up and definitely well used, but it is still work like it, it still works like it's brand new. The only problem is just pulling on a string and you know, I'm just gonna change that. But other than that, it runs perfectly fine. Sometimes I'll be out there in the rain and they get rained on and stuff. So, uh, but it's never left outside. It's always in the garage and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking things apart and see how far we can get before I run into some trouble. All right, you guys. So uh, first thing I wanted to let you guys know, uh, yeah, it is a Predator brand motor with a Vanguard handle only because uh, I had to change the string. So the old Vanguard that I had, I just used that string and just uh, made it work like that. But it's not too bad though, it's a little tacky, but it's all good. I actually like this handle, it's more, it's like a thicker handle. So hopefully I won't have to use this anymore once I finish with all this. First thing you wanna do uh, is we're gonna take off this right here, the string pull string, which engaged the flywheel. So I'm gonna take that off real quick. I wanna use a eight millimeter, hope you guys can see that. Put that on the top. Put these in a safe place. You don't want to lose them. Don't let it fall like that. But there's that little part right there. That's the part that uh spins. So that. Uh, another thing you're gonna have to take off is this right here. There's two little screws right here on it. So we're just gonna take those off real quick. I don't know if you guys can see that little hose right there, right here. Got to disconnect that as well. Once you disconnect that hose, you can slide it through. And what we're gonna do is just put that in the back. So we got that exposed, all right? So now we're going to take this little bolt off right here, which I think might be the hard part, but I'm gonna see if we can loosen that real quick. Actually, before we loosen that, we actually have to take this frame off. So we got this bolt right here. Got that bolt right there. We also got a bolt up in there, up there. And we also got a bolt right there, all right? So we gotta loosen all four of those to take the actual, I guess we can call this the frame, because we got that frame over there that we're gonna put on there. So I'm gonna take this off real quick. Got that one off, hope the other ones ain't like that. All right, got all the bolts off. We can put this to the side. So now what we wanna do is, uh, I guess we can get this flywheel off right here. So uh, we're gonna get the this part right here off, then the fan. Then we got the flywheel in the back. I think this is gonna be the hard part getting this up. I don't have an impact wrench, which I wish I did. So I'm just gonna have to use my big wrench and see if I can get this off. All right, you guys, this nut right here took me like 20 minutes to try and get it out. I don't have an impact wrench, so I have to use uh, this right here. And it's just something I kind of look like I just put together. I mean, the damn socket don't even fit up in there, but wedge it in there. See, it's loose now, so I can take this out and then we can continue. There's that bolt right there. So we're gonna put that to the side, take this off, put that to the side, and then we have the fan. There it is. This is also my first time looking at the two of you guys. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, it's all rusted up, messed up, and I mean, yeah, see, that's still kind of stuck on there. So I was told to kind of get a mallet, pop it a few times, or hit it hard, you know, and hit, you know, knock some out of place or break anything. But I'm gonna try to Hit it a few times and see if it'll knock it loose and I can pull this out. But before I do that, show you guys this right here. Right here, this thing right here, I'm gonna loosen this up. I forgot what the heck the thing is called, but I know it's important. Um, it has something to do with the magnets and stuff. So you can see it's like right along that uh flywheel. So I'm gonna 
take this off so I don't damage it. Put that to the side. And then we're gonna get this off. Cause uh, this right here has a wire back there that connects to, I think this wire right here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we'll find all that out later. So let's see if we can get this fly wheel off. All right, you guys, about two hours passed by and I'm just now getting this fly wheel off. So I just kept hanging it out. Actually, I blew some steam off. I'd actually just risk it all and just started pounding at it. Uh, but that's what I had to do. And it slides right off. So I'm gonna have to wedge all up in here. So I scratched up a little bit of the crankcase. I mean, it was hard as hell to get off. So I'm gonna grab the other one real quick. So there you have it. Rusty, rusty, rusty flywheel. So before we do anything else, we're gonna remove this right here. I think this is called a shroud or something like that. Holds everything into place that's on the side. We're gonna get rid of that. So we're actually replacing this one. We're not gonna use this one anymore. So we're gonna need this. It's the old one, we're gonna put the new one in. Now, this right here is called the charging coil. I think that's what it's called, all right? So what this actually does is, you're gonna put it right here, and then you have this little uh, wire right here that's gonna come through out right here. And what this is actually made for is like an alternator, all right? So this wire is going to connect somewhere over here to the battery and as you're running a motor this thing right here is going to be charging your battery so that's why it's called a charging coil all right so i think that's pretty cool it's actually a, a very very good thing to have so we're going to put this in right here two little screw ins right here so we just got to get the right screws it's definitely in there it's not going anywhere so now we're going to install the starter solenoid it's going to go in these facing right here just like that as you can see we have a it's going to go in just like this, like that. All right, so you have the long bolt right here, a long screw, and you have the shorter screw right here. Notice I mentioned this earlier. This is the other shroud that we're gonna be using. We threw the other one away, so we're gonna use this one. It's all nice, fancy, and shiny, so I'm gonna throw that right here. You guys can see that. All right, you guys, we got the keyway lined up. All right, so from here, we're gonna start adding everything back to it. I know you can hear the crickets are starting to get dark. Probably won't get to the wiring. I might do the wiring tomorrow, maybe. I'll show you how I done it. The firewood back kind of the way it was. It was on there like so. so let's put this on. We got the fan back on. Got this on, so now I gotta, we're gonna take the, the bolt, nut, whatever it was. That was so hard to get off. Get that back on. Take our handy dandy. Screw this back on. I don't know how tight it's supposed to be, but I think it's supposed to be on there fairly tight, so. All right, so now we got everything on there, so we're gonna go ahead and add this piece back. So this piece right here, a lot of people say use a business card. That way you want it like, I mean, but you want it right on there. So they say a business card is basically the length you wanna put. So let me go find like a card or something, and I'm gonna tighten the bolts back on this right here. And that should have our magnetic, uh, Coil or whatever the hell you want to call this thing. We got the business card right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna slide it in between right here. It's hard to do this with two hands, so uh with well, one hand I should say. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick, but at least you get the idea. Put that business card in between there and it's gonna give us that indention. Alright, we got it on there. You can see that it was actually almost a little too hard to take that uh business card out, but you can still spin it. It's not rubbing, it's not rubbing against it. So that's good. That means I didn't go too far. But yeah, we slid that business card right up in there. That's exactly what we wanted, just like that. So I think the next thing to do is, uh, I think we're gonna add the key box in a minute. So now that we got this thing back on, we're gonna add on the case, which is gonna look kind of, I don't know, it's gonna throw me off a little bit because I'm so used to it being all black, but look like it just fits on like this, just like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in real quick. We'll move on to the next step. So, all right, you guys. So we have the key box right here. So I forgot that I had to, hmm. I forgot that I had the, uh, right here, I had the bolt right here, but I actually have to screw this in first. So this would technically be the last bolt you'll screw into the frame. So from right here, I'm gonna have to put this in through here and screw it in. We're gonna put the other one in right here. I'm also check again to make sure it's not rubbing against. Okay, I'm feeling it. Alright, there we go. Everything's good. Just wanted to make sure, because I really don't want that fan to rub against any of the screws because it's going to sound horrible and it's going to damage the fan so that's going to be fine right here okay so the next thing i want to do hope you guys can see it this ground right here okay this is a green and yellow wire this is the ground for the key box all right so normally i would ground it up there where i just uh screwed in the screw right on the other side right here but i'm actually show you guys so that's why i just screwed it at right here um so i'm taking this green and yellow wire 
and I'm gonna screw it in right there. So that's gonna be the ground with the other screw. We're gonna screw that in real quick and then the key box will be fully secured on here. And then we're gonna play around with these wires and see what we can do about these. Uh, Alright you guys, this was probably probably the second hardest thing I had to do is uh, the actual wiring, okay? So uh, I'm gonna explain the wiring, what I did, okay? So um, yeah, one, two, three, four. And you have this fifth wire right here. Um, now this is the ground wire, like I said in the other part uh, early in the video, this is the ground wire for the key box, all right? So we got that situated. So now we have these wires right here, okay? So first thing I did was uh, this wire right here is for uh, the charging coil right here, okay? So this black wire has a female end and then the male end, no, I lied, male end, and this is the female end and I put it up in here. That's that wire that was, that I had to tuck in through here and out right here. So we got that one in. This is for the all sensor. I don't have one. I hate them because I shut my engine off all the time. So I disconnected it. So this is useless right now. Okay, so this wire right here, this brown, yeah, this brown wire, it is for the kill switch, which I do not have. I should have it, but I don't have it. So I'm gonna leave this wire hanging for right now um this wire is a uh, black and white so i put the black and white wire with the black and white wire can't think off the top of my head with this is for the starter relay i think um if i'm not mistaken because this one is connected to the starter and then you have this wire right here which is going to be uh the positive uh cable uh, wire that's going to connect to the the key box all right, so from there, that should be the last step. And from here, you would just have to have, uh, you know, the wire cables that connects to the battery and it should start up. I don't think I forgot anything. Um, and that'll go right here. Kind of like you guys see that right behind there. So I'm gonna plug that in right there. Also, I'm plugging in the red, uh, the red wire or the positive wire is gonna be also right here. And the black wire, which is, you know, a ground wire, I think I'm gonna have it probably up here. I don't see a bolt right there. I'm probably gonna have to find one to put right there. And then we should hook a battery up to it and see if it starts. So that'll be the last thing I have to do. Hopefully it starts, you guys. I have a bad feeling that something's gonna go wrong, but there's only one way to find out, right? guys all right looks like we're successful all right now um, this is like day six i think all right now i don't know if you guys heard that but there was like a little it, it sounded a little weird it don't sound like a calm motor like it was before this fan right here was pushing up against this frame right here you can see it behind there and i think that i think that's what's going on right now i think it's just slightly rubbing it like i don't think it's that too big of a problem but uh i'm gonna keep it the way it is it's starting up and uh yeah you guys this is i got a key start now oh another thing is i wanted to explain to you uh the wiring again uh just for anybody that was uh kind of confused about it because this was something i really had to go and look on youtube and study about it so so i had to put a clamp on here bolt it it's the red wire and i end up just uh getting like one of those lawn and garden batteries um have a start and uh I spliced the wire and I clamped it into this uh, this jumper cable because it has jumper cable posts and uh, the black wire I just wrapped it with it. Both of these are the same like the same wire, just cut them in half and I just labeled this one as the uh, ground wire. So this one's uh, labeled uh, black tape right here. So that's the ground wire. So you got the ground jumper cable. So I did the exact same thing. Now I ground this one right here, okay? So the ground wires just got a bolt under the gas can. You need to find like a screw, a bolt, or whatever like that that'll stay precise. And that's where I just grounded it at right there. So that is how I did that. Which I mean, I didn't know anything about electrical grounding and all that kind of stuff, but I had to figure it out. But it turned on, you guys. I'm glad it did. So all right, you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. It wasn't too hard. Glad I got a chance to do it. I'm glad you guys watched it. Hopefully, this video helps you guys out. Wasn't really a how-to video. I was just showing you guys how I installed it. I have more videos for this boat 
that I will be showing you guys in the future. One special project I'm going to be doing on this vote. And I think you guys are going to like it. All right. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching.